All right, Justin, thank you. Meanwhile, state lawmakers are pushing for ETSU to prohibit players from kneeling during the national anthem. This as the team gets more support on campus. News 5's Caleb Perney explains why banning kneeling could trample on the First Amendment. Yeah, Julie, uh, ETSU President Brian Noland is just about to present his budget request for the upcoming school year uh, in Nashville as we speak. Both uh, local senators, uh, Rusty Crow and John Lundberg, are uh, expected to ask him questions about how he's going to address the kneeling situation. The meeting comes after all 27 Republican state senators signed a letter asking universities to ban players from kneeling. Senator John Lundberg says he doesn't plan to use funding to threaten ETSU to comply. What I'm hoping for is we won't have uh, athletes kneeling during our national anthem. I think that's a disgrace. This is more campus organizations pitch in support. Daryl Carter, director of Africana Studies, saying in part, dissent is also patriotic. The campus young democratic socialist demanding President Nolan apologize for his words, affirm students' free speech rights, and protect Coach Jason Shea from punishment. This isn't about white people's feelings. This is about racial injustice, and that's what we need to focus on. We shouldn't be trying to silence them or make them scared to use their voice. Um, and we should want them to speak about issues to face them as black men. The American Civil Liberties Union says limiting speech at a public university is unconstitutional. Their freedom of expression is not bound by lawmakers' fragile sensitivities. Lundberg disagrees. It's not against protesting. I think there's, a, there's an absolute right to protest. That's what we're all about. There's also a time for that. There's one time when I think most of us would agree it's inappropriate. Isn't the the role of the First Amendment to say that the government doesn't get to decide what is appropriate and what isn't? Mm -hmm. Correct. Is that what you're doing? Well, question for you. Caleb, let me ask you, if you decide that, hey, it's in your First Amendment right to go on the air tonight in a t-shirt, what do you think would happen to you? I'd probably get yelled at, but my company's not the government. Right. Would you... <sighs> Now, the senators are calling senators are calling for new policies at all state universities banning kneeling during the national anthem. Uh, they are calling the players actions disrespectful. Live in Johnson City, Caleb Perney, News 5, WCYB. All right. Thank you so much, Caleb. Very interesting perspective there.